What Kat Koro, the director of She-Hulk, has to say in this shocking interview that we're going to be taking a look at here is just a small piece of the puzzle of all of the disturbing stuff that we continue to see Hollywood is continuing to engage in and do, and it's really disgusting. Yet, even in a show like She-Hulk on Disney+, Plus, they can't help themselves but continue to put some very horrific stuff for kids in it, and it gets even worse with what she says here. So let's go ahead and get into that. She-Hulk director Kat Koro says production team wanted to make the series about a woman navigating sex, but also something that everybody can enjoy, including children. That's what that's what the show is about, apparently. She-Hulk. No wonder it's such a terrible show. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what they, what she has to say here. Because <laughs> if you think that's bad enough, this one quote here, just wait until you hear what she has to say down here. They are trying to reconfigure society, and this is just yet another piece of of that so Koro provided this insight into her and her team's intent with the Jade Giantess during a post-game interview given to Polygon following the airing of She-Hulk's first season finale therein the director explained that not only did the series production team set out to as previously affirmed by series head writer Jessica Gowes focus their story on the smaller moments of a superhero's life and being able to see a superhero coming home and kicking her shoes off after a long day of work but also to address what they perceived as a societal fear around sex and the idea of sex positivity so it was our job to keep the conversation, she said. We wanted to say, look, she's a woman in her 30s navigating modern life. Sex is a part of that story. And ask, how far could we go? How far could we go? In a show that is, you know, apparently, according to them, targeted to young people. I know something that's very important to star Tatiana Maslany, this idea of sex positivity and kind of smashing the rules. Smashing the rules! Patriarchy! When it comes to women and the way that they perceived, Koro added, a lot of the conversations about sexualization in the show came from Tatiana and were with Tatiana. Isn't it ironic that feminists continue to try to destroy the narrative of men being sexually attracted to women and sexually pursuing women and all these different things by then making their entire feminist show about sex? Like... <laughs> Do they not see how dumb and ironic all of this is? To this end, the director concluded that the team wanted to make it realistic and about a woman navigating sex, but also make it something that everybody can enjoy, including children, because there is an element of the show that is really fun for young people. Like this whole, this whole quote right here, there is so much bad in this quote. So much bad. Oh my goodness. It makes my skin crawl that these people continue to talk this way. Just, just like about, about children. Like you're, you're talking about children. But they know that. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And it gets even more disturbing than that, okay? She-Hulk director wanted to make a sex-positive show that kids could also watch. By the way, this was an article that was written by Polygon. They're saying this like it's a, a good thing, like this is a positive thing about the show. But just listen to this, what she had to say. She-Hulk is easily one of the horniest shows currently streaming on Disney+, Plus, and for that, one of the most refreshing. But Koro says that her goal was still to deliver a show that could play to the broader youth-skewing skewing Marvel audience. The director says She-Hulk is the first show she'll she's ever really worked on where she was receiving voicemails from nine-year-olds begging to hear what happened next in a show that they wrote that was about sex. She's literally talking about nine-year-olds here. There is no that way that I would let my daughter, who is younger than even nine, watch this show. Like, there's... <laughs> No, it's not happening. It's absolutely not happening. I would much rather have her watch quality entertainment and quality stories than this trash that Disney is continuing to feed to younger people. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. I'd appreciate that a lot. And I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.